Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video we are going to study about cohesive energy. Cohesive energy is defined as the value of energy needed to move an atom completely away from its equilibrium position. It is the measure of binding energy. Cohesive energy is the potential energy which is resultant due to attractive and repulsive forces between atoms. Hence it depends upon the distance between the atoms. Let us consider two atoms 1 and 2. The attractive forces between these two atoms bring them close together until the strong repulsive forces arise between these two atoms due to the overlap of electron shell. When the two atoms approach each other the negatively charged electron shell come closer than the positive nucleus at certain separation the attractive and repulsive forces are equal. This separation is called as equilibrium separation. This equilibrium separation is represented by letter R0. Expression for resultant force or the general expression for the bonding force between two atoms is given by F is equal to A by R power M minus B by R power N. So, at equilibrium position, F is equal to 0 and R is equal to R0. So, this equation can be rewritten as 0 is equal to A by R0 power M minus B by R0 power N, where A by R, by R0 power M is the attractive force and B by R0 power M represent the repulsive force. The A, M, B, N values depends upon the type of bonding between two atoms. A, M and B, N are the constants where A, M are attractive constants and B, M are repulsive force constants. Since the attractive forces in interatomic bonds are largely electrostatic, M is usually 2 following the Coulomb's inverse square law of electrostatics. The value of N is not so easy to approximate but it usually takes, takes a value of 7 to 10 for metallic bonds and 10 to 12 for ionic and covalent bonds. Ok, let's say this equation as 1. From equation 1, we know that F is equal to A by R power M minus B by R power N. At equilibrium separation, F is equal to 0 and R is equal to R0. So, substituting these values in equation 1 gives the following equation. 0 is equal to A by R0 power M minus B by R0 power N that implies A by R0 power M is equal to B by R0 power N that implies R0 power N by R0 power M is equal to B by A that implies R0 power N minus M is equal to B by A. That implies R0 is equal to B by A whole to the power of 1 by N minus M. So, this is the formula to calculate the interatomic separation between two atoms at equilibrium position that is R0 is equal to B by A whole to the power of 1 by N minus M. The expression for the potential energy can be given or can be obtained by integrating the equation 1 with respect to R that is integrating the F of R with respect to the interatomic spacing. So the potential energy can be written as U of R 
is equal to integration of f of r into dr with respect to r dr represent with respect to r that implies u of r is equal to integration of a by r power m minus b by r power n into dr that implies integration of a into r power minus m minus b into r power minus n into dr which implies a into r power minus m plus 1 divided by minus m plus 1 minus b into r power minus n plus 1 divided by minus n plus 1 plus c which implies a into 1 by r power m minus 1 divided by minus m plus 1 Minus b into one by r for n minus one divided by minus n plus one, which implies minus a by m minus one into one by r for m minus one. Plus b by n minus one into one by r for n minus one. If a by m minus one is equal to small a and m minus one is equal to small m and b by n minus one is equal to small b. And n minus one is equal to small m. The whole equation can be rewritten as u of r is equated to minus a by r power small m plus b by r power small n plus c. If small r tends to infinity, u of r tends to zero. Which implies minus a by infinity power m plus b by infinity power n plus c is equal to zero implies c is equal to zero. Substituting the value of c is equal to zero in this equation implies u of r is equal to minus a by R power m plus b by r power n. Hence, the potential energy U of r is minimum on cohesion. A steady distance r naught is maintained between atoms. This can be represented by using the following graph. U of r taken on the y-axis that is potential energy. Then, at separation r naught, the potential energy is minimum. that is at equilibrium position the potential energy is minimum these dotted lines represent the energy of repulsion that is b by r power n and these dotted lines represent the energy of attraction that is a by r power m and this line or this curve represent the resultant energy or resultant potential energy that is u of r is equal to minus a by R power m plus b by r power n. This indicates that the potential energy is sum of the repulsive energy and the attractive energy. As the atoms approach each other, the attractive forces increases. Since the atoms do the work during attraction, the energy of attraction is negative, represented by a minus sign, implies potential energy decreases. when the separation decreases 
to the order of few atomic diameters the repulsive forces begin to act since external force must be done to bring two such atoms close together the repulsive force is positive represented by a positive sign so at equilibrium position r not the potential energy u of any of the atom is given by u is equal to decrease in potential energy due to attraction that is a by r power m plus increase in potential energy due to repulsion that is b by r power n let this be equation 2 for minimum potential energy du by dr where r is equal to r not is equal to 0 that implies d of minus a by r power m plus b by r power n divided by dr at r is equal to r not is equal to 0 that implies d by dr of minus a into r power minus m plus b into r power minus n at r is equal to r naught is equal to 0 that implies m into ar whole power minus m minus of m plus 1 minus nb into r power minus of n plus 1 at r is equal to r naught is equal to 0 that implies ma into r naught power minus of m plus 1 is equal to n into b into r r naught power minus of n plus 1 which implies r naught power n plus 1 divided by r naught power m plus 1 is equal to n b by m a which implies r naught power n minus m is equal to n into b by m into a which implies r naught power n is equal to n b by m into a into r naught power m substituting the value of r naught in equation 2 we get the dissociation energy or which is also called as cohesive energy that implies u minimum is equal to minus a by r naught power m plus b by substituting the value of r naught here that implies n into b by m into a into r naught power m that implies minus a by r naught power m plus b by r naught power m into m by n into a by b b b gets cancelled that implies minus a by r naught power m plus a into m by n into r naught power m which implies u minimum is equal to minus a by r naught power m taking common implies 1 minus m by n this is the formula for cohesive energy or dissociation energy That's it for this tutorial. For all my videos, please visit my YouTube channel that is www.youtube.com slash vibhavroys. If you have any queries, comments or suggestions, please email me to vibhavroy at the rate of engineer.com. Thanks for watching.